engineers do it before we start today's video i would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my youtube channel how engineers do it to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update hello friends this is mohammed shakil here from how engineers do it and in this video we'll try and understand what is pdca cycle as the name suggests this has four phases so let's begin with the plan phase. In plan phase, what we do is, let's say we have a process. So we go to the process and we'll try and understand what is the process lacking or where can we improve. So this is all about continuous improvement. To understand where the process lacks, we can do something like a 5 analysis or cause and effect diagrams, which are tools used to find the root cause or it's called as root cause analysis tools. So once we identify what's the root cause, you can brainstorm and find a solution for it. And then what we do is we will be implementing this. Um, before we implement this, what we have to do is we'll have to put these corrective actions, which is found from the root cause into the smart goals. So as I said, we'll be finding the root cause and then we'll come up with the corrective action for it. And then we'll have to put it to the smart goals. And what is a smart goal? Smart goal is nothing but a specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound goals. So as we do this, we'll go to the next step that is the do phase where we actually do this particular plan that we have planned here. So once we do whatever we have planned, we'll be doing it in a small scale and we'll be checking it in the uh, check phase or the study phase. So here we'll be evaluating whatever we tested. The results will be compared with the SMART goals. So what we'll be doing is we'll be checking the results compared to whatever we have planned. Let's say we haven't achieved what we have planned. So we can actually go back to the do phase, uh, do some tweaking or do some improvement on uh, whatever we have planned to do here. And then we'll uh, again implement that and see if we are getting the result. And once we achieve the result, what we go is what we do is we'll go back to the adjust or act phase and we'll set a new baseline. So once we set this baseline, we again go back. So as if we are not going back to the plan phase again, then this is our new baseline. For example, our company has a FTR of 98%. That is first time right of 98%. Or, or for example, our company has a um, a baseline of 95% of OTD so on time delivery then once we set a new baseline then that is our new baseline so oh, anything below that uh, number will be considered as non OTD or non FTR so uh, which is below the target so this is all about setting baseline so if we again have to improve we'll have to again go through all of these phases so this is a basic understanding of the plan do check act thank you so much and stay tuned